Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ in prayer for His grace that today we may be empowered and strengthened to accomplish His works in us to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength.
you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered in his zeal, he reduced them to straits. But the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers towards their sons and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death, our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind, then Elisha, filled with the twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about Him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of His throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him, 
and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world, the earth sees and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all peoples see His glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before Him. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand. You have received a spirit of adoption, a sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think, that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, our readings teach us not only how to pray, but our readings also teach us what is the grace in prayer? What is the grace that we receive when we pray? Tamang-tama po na ngayong umaga ay nagkakatipon po tayo dito sa loob ng simbahan para magdasal. Kaya magandang ituro sa atin ngayong umaga, e ano nga ba ang biyayang makukuha natin kapag nagdasal tayo? In our first reading today from the book of Sirach, we see the praise to Elijah. And according to our first reading, Elijah became strong even in the face of distress and danger. Elijah prevailed. Why? 
because he prayed. In times of weakness, in times of challenges, Elijah prayed to God. And God gave him the grace to prevail over the challenges of his prophetic mission. According to our first reading, remember when Elijah was challenged by 450 prophets of Baal. Remember when Elijah was in the desert running for his life. Remember when Elijah was faced with the problem of the widow of Zarephath when they have nothing to eat. In all of these, Elijah prevailed because he prayed. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today teaches us that prayer strengthens and empowers us. Kapag tayo ay nananalangin at nagdarasal, binibigyan tayo ng Diyos ng lakas at kakayahan. Kaya nga si Elias na propeta, bagaman siya ay mahina kung ikukumpara sa hari, kung ikukumpara sa ibang mga propeta, Siya ay simpleng tao lamang. Pero tuwing nagdarasal siya, binibigyan siya ng lakas ng Diyos. Binibigyan siya ng bagong kakayahan ng Diyos para gawin ang misyon ng Panginoon. Prayer strengthens and empowers us. This is also the message of our gospel reading today. When Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, the prayer of the Lord, the Our Father, towards the end of the gospel reading, Jesus teaches his disciples that if you pray the Our Father, you need also to forgive the transgressions of others as God also forgives you. When we pray the Our Father, it gives us the grace so that we could also forgive others. Kapag tayo ay nananalangin, binibigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng lakas magpatawad at ng kakayahan na patawarin ang ating kapwa. My dear brothers and sisters, if you need to accomplish something, you need to pray. Because in prayer, God strengthens and empowers us. Kaya po, kapag ang isang tao ay nanghihina, Kapag ang isang tao ay parang lalamya-lamya sa kanyang gawain, kapag walang gana palagi, baka kulang sa panalangin, baka kulang sa pagdarasal. Kailangan manalangin nang sa gayon tayo ay patibayin, palakasin ng Diyos at bigyan ng kakayahan gawin ang kanyang misyon. Sana po pagkatapos ng misa na ito, pagkatapos po nating manalangin, sana pakiramdam ninyo lumakas kayo at magtiwala tayo sa biyaya ng Diyos. Ano man ang nais ninyong gawin at tapusin ngayong araw, bibigyan tayo ng Diyos ng lakas at kakayahan dahil tayo ay nagdasal. My dear brothers and sisters, in prayer, God strengthens and empowers us. Amen. Please stand.
Christ has told us that we can call God our Father. So with firm hope, we bring our petitions before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That amidst life's difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may meet the Lord face to face in His eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food, and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. 
And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us now offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.